Hi, my name is Rodrigo, and in this video, I will show you how to upgrade your LG NAS, the N2B1, upgraded from the older version to the newer version with the new UI. Um, I bought my LG NAS a couple of months ago. It was a friend who was selling his because he had bought a new one, so I bought it off of him. It came with two one terabyte disks, and a few days ago, I bought uh, two. Two terabyte disks, so so I would have now four, and I wanted to find out how to upgrade it to the newer version because I had the older version, I believe the one zero two six six or wait I'll show you which one. Yeah, this one here, the two six six zero version, and I'd seen before these newer versions. And whenever I try to update it, it wouldn't allow me. And I thought, now since I have the new two terabyte disks, I would just try it once more and try to f find out how to upgrade it myself. Uh, it took me a couple of days to actually find out how to do it because it's not as intuitive as you would think, as I, I would hope. There was lots of trial and error. And since I am using a Mac here, it's even more difficult because you need the LG, LG's application to do so and there's no other way of doing it so you would need a, a Windows machine to do this and it would be to, need to be Windows either XP or Windows uh, Vista maybe possibly even the 7 I'm not sure about that so I'll show you how to do it the way I did it because I'd, I was looking all over all forums and videos and everything trying to explain how to do it but there was nothing really showing how to do it properly and whenever I found something I would try it and it would always give me an error so I'll, I figured it out and I'll show you how to do it right and actually I did it yesterday last night so it won't be I won't be able to show you the whole thing completely but I'll show you what I can on my machine so first things first if you have um, a Windows machine, you would need to get the um, you would need to install the virtual machine, either a virtual VMware or something. That's what I have. But either way, you would need to have the virtual machine running Windows XP or Windows Vista. That's that's the only ones that w that says it would work. So I'll show you. I have here. And, that, and you can find the Windows XP ISO file online. You don't need to have it um, official because it's only just for this and afterwards you can erase it or delete it or everything. Anything you want to do with it. So, yeah, let me just show you which version I have. It's this one, N2B1. So, right there, okay. You would need to install it. If you want, I can show you. I can make a video of you of how to install uh, VMware um, Windows XP on VMware. But since I already installed it, I can just turn it on right here. Okay, that's initializing. Okay, just a minute and here we are. This is Windows XP in a virtual machine. So if, what you need to do is you need to go to the LG page and go to the N2B1 support uh, page. So you go here. I'll send I'll link this down below in the comment section. So you go here support and product support and before upgrading to the new uh, to the new version UI version you will need to have the latest version which is this 2660 if it's not on this one you would have to upgrade the firmware to have this one or else it won't work so first if you don't have this version you need to go and get it and upgrade the firmware 
and then afterwards you go here and select this one you new user interface update firmware you download it and which I already have it is this one right here so you would have these folders these files I mean and folders you can just open here and there's a, a short instructions on how to do it so this yeah, it says here you need to have the, the, the latest version 2660 here so you would upgrade it and then afterwards you would need to go on the XP machine and do it so you, it says here after upgrading it you need to boot the, the NAS within closure closure mode so you press both left and right button so you need to first you need to turn it off to shut it down and then you press the left and right button then press the power on button which I will do right now because mine is turned off so I'll press left right and hold both buttons and it should say NAS in netboot so you just leave it like that and then afterwards you would go here to the XP machine and, and yeah the most important part which took me a long time to discover you would need to have where is it oops sorry about that yeah right here where is it you you will need to have this in bridge mode the network if it's in NAT it's NAT or host it won't work it has to be bridged the same thing as in Mac has to be in Windows if you're using VMware in Windows machine Windows 10 for example it has to be in bridged mode so afterwards after you confirm that's in that it is in bridged mode you open the LG NAS detector you run it that'll take take a few seconds to find out yeah okay Searching, searching, searching. Okay, there we have it. Before, the problem I was having is that this nothing would appear. I would, I would run this LG network storage, and here would be blank. Nothing would appear here. And that's why I'm saying that that bridge mode, that's what made a difference. Because before it was in that, because I think it's automatic if it's in that, then nothing would appear. And I was trying also with uh, Windows 10 machine, the same process I had on um, Windows 10, and I was running this exact software, LG Network Storage, and either it would not appear, nothing would appear, or it would appear and it would be three or four buttons. The install NAS system wouldn't appear, wouldn't be there. So, and this is the most important part, having this install NAS, this is what's going to update the to the new UI version. So once you have this, you found it, you press install NAS system, press OK. And it's going to check the IP. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It depends. You press yes. OK. And yeah, this is also what was causing your problem. So you go to that folder, you press enclosure. And normally you would have the zip file and I would choose zip file and in the background it would unzip then nothing and then it would go to the next screen it would say here uh, status would be like transferring or something and that's it it wouldn't it would be like in one percent and nothing else would happen and I would wait hours and hours and after a couple of hours it would just fail and I would get a message saying that it failed so the thing, the trick is to unzip it yourself and to have this file. This is what's going to update the, the UI, not the zip file. So you go here, press open. OK, yes. And you press OK and just keep on pressing OK. I'm not going to do it because I already done it last night. But after this, it shouldn't be a problem. You'll see here. 
the various steps in the percentage as you can see here it's pretty it's pretty straightforward afterwards it just says this the percentage status you say install all this would show up and it would take it, w it takes normally 10 to 20 minutes it doesn't it doesn't take that long and afterwards you just reboot it and that's it pretty simple after you find out what you need to do and then the new UI looks different. It's more functional. There's more functionalities. Looks really different than the previous one. But I like it because you can do more things with it. And for a list of new functionalities, you can just go to the folder. And there's a wait, not this one. This, yeah, the new UI, the features. There's a couple of features that I find really interesting. We have the browser, this HD Smart Check and inspection, which is really useful. You find out if you have problems with your hard drive. And a couple of other things. You can turn off the, the buzzer when you turn it on and off. Kind of the bright list, bright, uh, brightness, sorry. And yeah. So that's pretty much it. And one, yeah, one, one last thing. After you upgrade it, I recommend that you update to the most recent firmware. So you would install it to this one, one zero zero nine four. But I, you should recommend you should install the latest one, one zero one two four, to be to have the latest um, firmware on your machine. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, if you want me to do anything else, any other videos about this, the, the NAS system, I'll be happy to do it, whatever you guys need. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, any comments, whatever, just let me know. I'll be happy to help. Okay, thank you and Happy New Year. Hey, it's me again. I just thought uh, I'd come back to show you how to update the latest version, firmware version. It's a bit different than the, the one before. So first things first, you need to go to the LG page and up and download the latest one, which in this case is 10124, right here. You download it and have it ready to be installed, which I believe is this one. Yeah, the bin file, so it's that one. Then you go to the LG page the 192.168.174.34 page and that username and password it's the same as before admin admin so you log in there this is the IP of the the NAS by the way so you go here you go to configuration it takes a few seconds then you go to firmware where is that your firmware update You can try to auto auto upgrade, but for me it wasn't working, so I just did it uh, manual. Yeah, okay. So go here, manual upgrade. You choose the file. It's the latest one. Where is it? From where? No, I believe. Probably this one. No. Yeah, here it is. There you go. You press OK, and the process will update to the latest version. That's pretty much it. Okay, thank you for viewing, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.